You are now listening to Wild Talk. Wild Talk is the podcast that discusses the LA Wildcats of the XFL and all Los Angeles sports. Produced by Alex Cauldron. With your hosts, Chris Rico and Gabriel Montoya. You are now engaged in Wild Talk. Boys, get talking. And welcome to Wild Talk. Wow. Why with the voice the again, vipers. man? <laughs> the vipers. Why with the with the radio voice? I don't know. I just it just it's just a welcome thing now. to Wild Talk. <laughs> welcome to Wild Talk. Are we doing our official radio voices? Our tonight? Wild. I don't know. It's, welcome to Wild Talk. I never know I'm how to your start. Host Chris Rico. This is more of a broadcaster's voice. Yeah. Coming to you live from Manhattan <laughs> Beach, Manhattan Beach, California. <laughs> Coming to you live from Manhattan Beach, California. We have Man. Chris Rico and it was Gabe good, y'all. Montoya. He's back. I'm back He's with the vengeance. Back from, he resurrected. Back hard. He back resurrected again. <laughs> Gabe is back. Back Tell again. Tell our friend. He resurrected. He brought Salvadorian tamales. I did. I brought some tamales for my host here. He brought some tamales. Yes, I, and I brought some Mexican wedding cake cookies. Yep, cocaine yeah, cookies. Yeah, I'm about to have some right now. Cocaine cookies. Yes, I did bring real cookies, though, for people who are listening. <laughs> <laughs> They're real, legit cookies. They're good. Yes. They're good. My mama makes them. He said cocaine hey, mama they makes look them. like basically Mom, white powder. My mama calls them Mexican wedding cakes, so I'm going to call them Mexican oh, wedding Oh, gotcha. Cakes. <laughs> <Maybe>. <laughs> so to all our listeners But she says there, it in Spanish, she says wedding cakes. No, nah, my mom doesn't speak much Spanish. Oh, okay, got at it. At all. To all our listeners, I uh, hope you guys have a Merry Christmas, uh, Happy Hanukkah, and uh, Festivus. I hope you guys aired your grievances and showed your strength. Um, how is <laughs> showed your strength? <laughs> yeah. Showed your resistance is to it, the force. That's, that's that's Festivus, right? You air your grievances and then you do feats of strength. Happy Festivus, yes. Uh, how right. was how was your guys' Christmas? It's cool. I didn't do much. What you would you get? Would you stay do? sober? You stayed sober. Completely sober. I actually had my first beer. Wait, what? In a while. Yeah, yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yesterday was a Christmas. <laughs> I know, I know, but it was a Christmas. Yeah. I went to a Korean barbecue, had a beer, and then Ooh. I had a beer today at the game. I love Korean barbecue. Dude, so, it is by far the greatest food of life. Did you go to a restaurant or did you go to a barbecue at a Korean person's house? Oh, good No, question. I actually went to a Korean barbecue restaurant. Or okay. did you barbecue a Korean person? <laughs> <laughs> did I barbecue <laughs> Korean? <laughs> uh, my Christmas was good, too. Uh, if you ask me what I got, I probably couldn't tell you. I don't remember very much. Um, you were drunk? No, I'm just kidding. I remember everything. I just, I just didn't get anything memorable this year, which is uh, fine, which is fine. You know, I moved into a new place. So, yeah. you know, we, we we know, you know, I, I wasn't <laughs> able to buy everything, the things I wanted to. But I'm not going to say anything, but my gifts were way better than the gifts I got. Um, I'll just leave it at that. Man, humble brag <laughs> all over the place, dude. I got, I, <laughs> I got a couple of gift certificates, but it's cool because that's what I wanted. To what? Um, Amazon. Okay. Uh, just open ended so I could buy more equipment for our uh videos and podcasts and whatnot. But yeah, no, it was cool. Um and uh I got some like uh, uh some new gym shorts that didn't, that were too big for my brother. <laughs> 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 so they're some, not some, really for you. Some some dry fits. Um, bro, I, I don't care. They got the flap in the front or it the was back? The, the Everlast. Mm, <laughs> some Everlast ones. Some Everlast. Ooh. Okay. So some boxing shorts? Yeah. What? Yeah. I mean, all purpose though. Uh, about to whip some ass yeah. in the gym. That's what he's saying. Yeah. All purpose. What do you? <laughs> what do you? What kind of purposes do you be using shorts for? Boxing. Fucking. Basketball. <laughs> laundry. <laughs> We're not even ten minutes into the show. <laughs> I'm gonna go get food at seven eleven at two in the morning. Uh. Like what? 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 They're like good for like wearing socks and sandals. Yeah. It, oh, that's that's horrible. Yeah, they look. <laughs> they almost look like basketball shorts. So like, think about all the ghetto uh, activities I could do with them. Just wear some some slips, uh, some house shoes. Run outside quick. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I did it this morning. Uh, run outside a, quick. Make a car run for no reason. It's cold. I had to go. To, I had to go to my car like at seven in the morning. I went in a uh, wife beater, uh, Lakers shirts. Oh, and, uh, nice. Mm. And uh, slips. Been there. To avoid yeah. the street sweeper or what? No, no. I, I had left some stuff in my trunk and I needed it. Oh, yeah. I thought your neighbor was walking by and you were like, nah. I gotta just go outside. Oh, I gotta go outside and move my Bro, car. I've legit three inches. I, I've, got, <laughs> I've got to move my car and, and like. Boxers and that's it. 
Really? Yeah, I don't give a fuck. I can't do that. Well, I can now, but I can't do that before. Yeah. I was living next to my parents for a long time in a in an apartment. How are your neighbors? Your new neighbors? They're cool, man. They're old. They're older. Ooh. Although, well, older the neighbors are old. Okay, so the neighbors to my left are wider, are white and older. And uh, but they have two grandkids living with them, and their grandkids are in their twenties. A guy and a girl. That's not bad. And then uh, <laughs> the other one is Latino, lives to my right, and their granddaughter, who's like, uh, or their daughter, who's like forty. Yeah. She's she's <laughs> in the other side, and her sister too. So she she has good hands. Pam with good hands. Okay. But so my neighbors are cool. They're she cool because they're older. She a Julie Fox type. She's like she's like Pam. Is what he said. With the good hands. I don't know yeah. what this means, but yes, uh, my neighbors are awesome, and uh, they're cool. They're, they're from New Mexico on my right, so they're from the same area as my dad. They got the same lineage as my dad, actually. Uh, they're Montoyas. Uh, da- what? Oh, what? Like the my Montoyas, name- like Tony. No, well, they're Prados. Montanas. <laughs> they're Prados, but the guy's mom is Montoya, oh, okay, so yeah, like yeah. from New Mexico, from like the same Ooh, area. I'm sure okay. if we trace it back. And then the other side, I don't know. They got some bomb fruit trees. So mm-hmm. damn. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, so it's cool. New new neighborhoods, cool. Christmas was cool. New Year's, I'm going to Palmdale, so I'm hoping for some more snow. Uh, What's in Palmdale? What's in Palmdale? Family, yeah. family. Oh, oh, I was gonna say Palmdale. <laughs> you made it sound like it was like a resort area. Come back to <laughs> the Palmdale Resort and Casino. <laughs> I was like, it's in Palmdale. Sponsored by Afro Man. <laughs> <laughs> like they, they got a they got a small mountain. You mean the hill? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yes, a hill. You made it sound like there's a place to go. I was like Palmdale. <laughs> they have a small mountain. Yeah, but can, shout out to people yeah. in Palmdale. I'm pretty sure we have no listeners. Shout out to there, six, what is it, six 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 one six 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 yeah six, or six, six nine one, one six nine one yeah something like you this. have family out there. Or your girl has family out there. No, nah, I don't have. Yeah, the second one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know nobody in Palmdale. <laughs> My family's out in San Bernardino, though. I got San Bernardino, so I can't really say it. In the San Bernardino is just the as bad Dino. as Palmdale. Oh, man. Dude, that mall in the Dino? Uh-huh. The, the old mall from the 80s that still looks like it's from the 80s? It's lit? No, it's so bad. <laughs> That's what were you doing out there? I've been to the Dino for just random reasons. There's a big old soccer <laughs> complex out there, so I was, used to be over there every weekend for like five years. Really? My my, uh, my uncle used to date... Uh, 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 <laughs> Did you see that guy just yeah. catch the ball and yep. bounce? My uncle used to date a, uh, his girlfriend used to live in San Bernardino, and uh, a couple of times he wanted me to like uh, he invited me to like you know get togethers over there. So to try to like you know how wait is this Will's dad? Yeah. Oh okay. yeah. Hey, so, this already sounds funny. <laughs> so like you know how when you're late to something you're like oh you know I'm just gonna buy something I'm just gonna buy like a bottle of wine or Whatever. some booze yeah. on the way, yeah. and then like get to San Bernardino and you're like. Why is it that instead of fixing the mall they had here, they just built around it? So there's like all these. <laughs> it just looks like it, it looks like like the Twin Pines Mall from um, Back to the Future. Okay, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. but it's like only crackheads now in the parking lot. And <laughs> they have like like stores that shouldn't even be open anymore. Yeah, like there's a Kmart that functions, but it's then, like Blockbuster Video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Toys R Us, like all these stores of I guess, yeah. Circuit City. <laughs> but then like Radio three, Shack. But then like I'm just gonna keep interrupting you. <laughs> yeah. But no. Finish the story. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Um but yeah, San Bernardino. It's okay. a good place. Okay. It's not a good It's not place, a good place. Don't lie to the people. It's not. It's not. There's a lot of live in Los Angeles. There's a lot of meth out there. Although if we talk to the people, you know, if you're listening to us, then yeah, you know, we shout out to your city. But if you want to go to Lake Arrowhead, you have to go through there, right? That's the rumor. I I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know my my jig. I thought Lake Arrowhead <laughs> was geogra- the other way. <laughs> Big Bear, I don't know. Big Bear. I thought that was like Riverside. Isn't Riverside San Bernardino? I don't same know. Thing? Is it? Is it the same thing? No, I thought it was Riverside no, County. It's not, it's not. Is Long Beach and Lakewood the same? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, something that did uh, affect my Christmas uh, day was... Uh, How was your Christmas, Alex? I'm, I am apologize. We apologize. How was your Christmas? It was cool. I, I cooked um, <laughs> a lot, actually. I Ooh. made, uh, I made uh, a potatoes au gratin mm. and coco vin with oh, chicken. Oh, I saw a video for the potatoes like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They take like two days. It, it took a long time. And I bought the real Parmesan from... Uh, Parmesan Regano from Modena, Italy, not the American kind. Right, right, it, right. It was bomb. Wow. And I made some. I bought some some Kobe. Sorry, some Wagyu uh, oh. steaks. Wagyu. Some uh, Wagyu. With well marbled. Yeah, well marbled. Yeah, it was okay. delicious. Uh, this is 
This is on Christmas Day or Christmas, Christmas Eve. Eve. This sounds Latinos. bomb. I, I I didn't do anything like that. I and, had and Christmas tamales. Day, I just sat there and yelled at my TV because the Lakers missed 33, uh, 40 something uh, three pointers. Oh my god! We're not, you know, Danny Green, KCP, LeBron James. You guys missed. You guys missed. You guys missed thirty three. 30 something threes bro what freaking vogel man why didn't he have caruso in most of that like the whole this whole win streak caruso's been playing 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 and now when they're starting to lose games he's starting to like put him more on the bench mm-hmm. last night he played a bunch and they won caruso was balling when he was in the game yeah bald mamba yeah bald mamba yeah gotta play the guy and why why was he only playing you know what they, one big we we're getting out we were we we play like it's we play like, like we play the, the like pressure a, got to him. We play like a team of small people. As soon as they started, as soon as they started playing more physical, he <clears> panicked, <throat> and well, I think we panicked. When they went small, we made the mistake of going small too. Yep, we should stay big. Stay big. Yo, real question though: You think the Clippers are a better team than the Lakers? Yes. Okay. They've been together longer. Their system's been in place for years. Like, mm. you know, you could you could say you drop. Oh, Kawhi can fit into any system, but you drop Kawhi into any system and he's going to be really good. Yeah, and he, Paul George is, you know, he's not having a great year, yeah. but, but you know, everybody else has already been with the Clippers. So everybody else is balling. Yeah. So it's like, they never missed a beat with the Lakers, new system, whole new coaches, like um, half of the team's new player, more than half the team's new players. And it takes a big adjustment playing with LeBron. We learned that like his first year everywhere he's playing. Yep. It takes a huge adjustment to playing with him because of how much he handles the ball um, and then, you know, how much pressure there is on you because in a 24-second clock, you might only have it for one second and you mm-hmm. better make the right decision. Meanwhile, he has it for 12 seconds so he can go through his progression like a quarterback of plays. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it, it, there's just more pressure on you to make the right play in your limited amount of time with the ball. Yep. Damn, he just fucking put <laughs> No, well, well, there goes the, the, that's that's the LA news. We're talking Lakers right now. Does <laughs> it seem like Patrick? <laughs> is it me or does it seem like Pat Beverly came out of nowhere? Like, a couple no, years, no, he's, he's he. I don't remember him at all. Like at Houston? No, not at oh, all. Oh man, you got yeah. I, I remember him at Houston. I mean, he kind of looks like a dude that was on the wire, but <laughs> yeah, he does like ex- <laughs> he does. <laughs> yeah. He looks like a crackhead on the wire. He, oh, whoa. He, he looks like uh, in, in that movie. What is it? A Nutty Professor when he when Eddie Murphy roasts. Dave Chappelle, and he's like, "Damn, Reggie, I heard of dreadlocks, but shit locks." <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said that he looks like the homeboy from uh, Captain Phillips. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm the captain now. Look I am me. the captain now. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> no, but, you know, he, credit to him. He, he plays he makes, with passion. Yeah, he makes the most out of what he has. He plays with a lot of passion. That, I think that was like the thing coming into this game. They were gonna wonder how Clippers defensive wise were gonna hold down. The Lakers and fuck, they got an answer for that. So well, we ran them the well. first half, and then once they went small, this is the thing. Okay, a couple of weeks ago, I complained that the Lakers didn't know how to deal with the zone. The Clippers went into the zone, and the Lakers killed their zone. So then, what did the Clippers do? They went small. The Lakers don't know how to adjust. Like they, they need to realize that they need to just keep playing their game. Mm-hmm. Mm. Like they, they try to, they try to do all these changes to adjust what the other team's doing. Don't you have fucking yeah better players you have, and your bigs are skilled bigs. You have four skilled bigs. Yeah, four skilled bigs. Like it's like you know how Floyd Mayweather say he would never watch uh, uh, a film on his opponents. Yeah, when you have a certain skill level, you don't you shouldn't ha- you shouldn't change your shit. You shouldn't change it at all. Yeah. you should do you until doing you doesn't work. But what they do is they they're reactionary, and that doesn't work. And they can't go back. To just normal because they're in panic mode after that. They lost the lead. They were up by 15 at the half. They were up by seven in the fourth, and then they, they went reactionary. Yeah, Kuzma, Kuzma plays the four, so he's one of the skilled bigs we're talking about. Yes. Um, he, he balled out. He played good. He's been playing good. He's had a good stretch here. And then, um, you know, Dwight Howard had a team ran through run through him for how many years in Orlando, right? So he's used to passing out of a double team. Yep. Uh, he's used to being able to score over double team, yada, yada, yada. And then a- obviously AD, uh, McGee's more skilled than people think. I, you know, he's, he's pretty good. He was on all right. Yeah. No, he's shacked I mean, he's in a full enough. champion he's for a enough. while, but I mean, he is being shocked in the full champion. Doesn't mean he's not skilled. That's, right. That was more of like, but he plays um, above the rim yeah. and, and, you know, he, 
he's not just a body you throw in there to get five fouls. He, he's right. actually a decent player. Check out Kuzma Zerka, man. That shit's ugly still. <laughs> Oh man, what is that? It's not a fade. It's a yeah. step. Remember the step in the nineties? People would get the step. That well, is it's the step. Nasty. Yeah, I, I, I had know. a step. You had a step. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I had a flat top with a step. With a step. <laughs> Damn, like you can't get more nineties than that. I had mean? a flat top with a step. Were you an extra in New Jack City? I was not. <laughs> There's a buddy. <laughs> I was not in boy. I was not in a boy band. I was not. You know, I was not singing R and B. I was rapping freestyle though. Ooh, yeah. I, what was, was your rapper name? Uh, I didn't have a rapper name. G Money, bro. <laughs> G Money. My rapper name Montoya. was Candy. <laughs> Candy I, rapper. Big Trust. Am I my Am I my brother's keeper? <laughs> nah, but we used to go to. We called it the studio. We put up some like egg cartons all over my friend's like outdoor shed. That oh, his you were really trying to rap? Yeah, no, we you had we had a microphone and everything. Oh shit! Can you I was making beats. Uh, my, his brother, his older brother, he would make beats with. How like, long ago was this? Three years, years ago. ago. <laughs> I don't know. What, what's Two today? weeks ago. <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> hey, drop, drop a hot sixteen. <laughs> nah, he can't rap anymore. Drop a hot sixteen. I'm getting old. Bro. I can't even talk fast. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, you can. You can slow it down like Slick Rick, bro. Just I spit hot fire. The five greatest <laughs> rappers of all time. Yeah, thinking about uh, getting them in a rap career. <laughs> G my big G money. Big G yo, money. I wonder what he was rapping about. Tom Brown Kings. <laughs> what I was rapping about back then? About soccer? Probably. About scoring goals and ah. scoring chicks. No. Scoring chicks? Is that what you yeah. said? Yeah, I mean I was in high school. That's true. Oh, this is in high school. Yeah. Talking. Oh shit. What high school did you go like to? The ninety late nineties. Uh Millican in Long Beach. Okay. Okay. Like clocking hoes. Late nineties, bro. Everybody was freestyling. Like no, getting a group. No, we weren't. We were okay. not freestyling. You get together with your group, you hang out right there. And, and especially not in Millican High School. You were either singing like alternative <laughs> rock or you were fucking <laughs> you so were singing rap. Yo. You were rapping. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Rapping. You were singing like, you know, glycerin or something. I don't know. You were uh, grunging. That was, that was a little I was trying to produce. Yeah. That was that was early nineties. Sound like beats. Oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. Turn me yeah. up in the headphones. But you know, that uh. uh, takes a while for people to catch on. <laughs> we, we, you know, we you're can, singing uh, Cisco. <laughs> <laughs> people were dying. Oh, dude, the I do. Thong, thong, people thong, were thong, dying thong, their yeah. hair. So many colors back thong, then. Thong, yeah, thong. I had my. I, ble- I, blue, I used to bleach the front of my hair. Yeah, yeah. 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 people I were doing peroxide. A lot yeah. of Hispanics I knew were doing the cheap one was the peroxide. Cheap. Oh really? No, I did the actual like bleach. Yeah, I bleached it. I thought it was cool. Yeah. <laughs> look at, look at that. Sometimes, sometimes I look at Mexican did. soccer players with bleached hair, you yeah. know, like the real dark ones. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, dude, that's probably how stupid oh, I looked. <laughs> you just see it now, you're yo, like, why? Like, and I'm, I'm brown, and then I just, I know we don't, we shouldn't have our hair color that. <laughs> no, it's natural. It's natural. <laughs> you see a really brown girl with blonde hair, and you're like, nah, girl, yeah, yeah nah, man, just, that looks bad. Uh, no, nah, there's a no. not the bleach blonde. No, there's a fifty percent chance she's not high maintenance. <laughs> <laughs> fifty, you're being nice. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> I was trying to say fifteen, and I accidentally said fifty. So, how many more times do the Lakers and the Clippers play this season? Two. And, and does it matter what the what the does it matter what the regular season? Series is that mm. only to Clipper fans? <laughs> well, it is kind of bragging rights. You know? I don't care. The bragging rights is at the end of the season. If you win the championship, yeah. but if I mean if both teams don't win the championship, then ju- I guess okay, so yeah. again, look at it right now. I think the oh. Clippers can go a little further. ACP said, "Give me that." But actually, you know, with the Lakers winning tonight, it's kind of a good way to end out the the year. Yeah, the year. Yeah, but yeah. also like the way they Kinda came back out. and won yeah. the next game, and the way yeah, the Clippers, Portland, came, right? And then the way the Clippers came out and lost the next game. Yeah, it was like, well, obviously one team was up for one of the game for the game, and the other team was like, all right, let's no, regroup. No, no, it's no, just no, a game. No. Don't don't say the Lakers were not up for that game. They were up. They were up, bro. They were up. They I were don't up. think they cared. <laughs> um, I mean, they cared, but sounds petty, dude. <laughs> LeBron, all of all of the quotes before the game was like, "This is just another oh, game." Like, oh, it's, it's oh, a, the Seahawks it, lost. My bad. I'm like, it's uh, a. Well, they were like, it's a, it's a, it's I'm gonna honest. be a good game, but like, it's whatever. It's just a game. It's not gonna make or break our season. Whereas the Clippers, it's like, oh my god, we gotta win this game. We gotta Clipper show the Lakers. fans, but it's not the, like, right, the actual right, right. team. The Come on, Kawhi Leonard doesn't give a fuck. If anybody doesn't give a fuck, it's Kawhi Leonard. No, he cares, bro. He does. He cares. <laughs> He's a fun guy. Yeah. Yo, I'm a fun guy. Trust me, bro. He, he cares. Aha, 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 aha. Hey, what it do, baby? 
<laughs> like speaking of Dwight Howard, I respect that guy's game though. To be honest, even as a Laker fan, like when he was in San Antonio, I respected it. Yo, Dwight needs to cut that so hair. Bro, We're talking about like, Kuzma's hair. So, like, okay, going in the playoffs. If the Lakers, if we keep going how we're going, and let's say uh, I think the Clippers will keep doing load management and dropping games here and there, they're looking at a fourth seed because mm-hmm. the, the winners, division winners, the division winners get the first three seeds. So mm-hmm. even though they have a better record, they're th- because the Lakers are probably win the Pacific, they're going to end up matched up with the Rockets mm-hmm. or like the Nuggets or mm-hmm. the Mavericks. That's not going to be an easy first round for them. No. no, I think the West has always been like it's not even an easy playoffs unless you're yeah, the first say, round. Uh, that's your first seed. It's pretty thick, dude. The Rockets could take him out. Yeah, they ha- they have trouble with Harden because it you know it Harden just makes it hard on everybody, dude. And everybody has trouble with Westbrook. They're trying. The, the rumor was Westbrook's on the trading block already again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, come that's what you that's hear what this rumor. Let me check. Let me come home. Check. Twitter it. Yeah, yeah. Twitter it. Come home. Nah, man. Nobody wants come, to hear. Come home. I, I, oh, I, right. I like, it is Westbrook training. Yeah, I like Westbrook, Westbrook from afar. Westbrook. I don't like Westbrook on my team. Wow. Greater Lakers? Okay. Lakers bro, who, fans. No, we went to, we went to the this. same high school, bro. <laughs> Sorry. We went, to the, we went to the same high school. Why is it every time somebody's going to be traded, it's always to the Lakers? Why? It says it says Westbrook to the Lakers? We don't need them. Like, well, we hey, hey, we can't, That's hey, we, what I'm saying. Like, hey, we it's can't so afford annoying. Him. Like, come on. We can't afford them, first of all. Yo. Wow. Well. We would have to give up way too much, and I don't want to give that up. I don't know. It's stupid if, if Houston decides to trade them now. We need we need shooters like players who can also shoot. We need some fucking shooters. Hey, Chris has been saying that for it just, it just yeah. doesn't make any sense for months. We I've been saying shooters. that for a while, but I was like, nah, nah, nah. What are you talking about? And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> if you can get a shooting port guard, like when we talked about, like when I talked about Danny it Green, summer, I said, uh, or last year, I said Mike Conley. I said try mm. to trade for Mike Conley. Or when Malcolm Brogdon was a free agent in the summer, I was like, go after Malcolm Brogdon. And he ended up signing with the Pacers for cheap. I was like, bro, and he killed us when we played the Pacers. That's why we lost to them. Yep. He's good, man. I don't know why why the whole NBA is sleeping on Malcolm Brogdon, dude. That guy's good. He won Rookie of the Year, and, like, nobody's talking about no. him. Straight up, Montoya for general manager. Oh, stupid. Oh shit! Uh, Hell yeah, I'll do it. I'm getting my master's in sports management, so you know when I do that in 12 months, you can hire me. As NBA, how at your boy? Damn, Pat Bev hurt his wrists. Oh look at Kobe. Too much. Uh, rep Kobe. Oh, Kobe's punching LeBron in the ribs. You saw that? Uh, that was straight up violence right there. How's that dude next to him sitting next to Kobe? Not even phased. Sitting next to Kobe. That's his brother. The white guy. Yeah. Well, you got something against biracial couples or what? <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Is it, are you serious right now? Who do you think's Italian? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh man, that guy did not look Italian. He Could you like imagine Ukraine. Kobe's relationship with his dad? Like, damn. Like, how many fights they must have got into? Because Kobe's so like hard headed and competitive. Yeah, and mm. competitive, just like. Crazy, like he sees his dad eating a steak faster than him. <laughs> he starts like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, dad. <laughs> Damn, the Jazz took it to the Clippers last You're night. You're not my dad. <laughs> um, anyways, the Jazz took it to the Clippers. Let's, last let's get him. Night. Let's keep him moving. The Jazz took it to the Clippers last night. Yep, just shows you Clippers uh, care more about that Lakers game about than any other games. They don't care, man. They just want to beat the Lakers. What's the score? Oh, they the, did, but, they, but they did beat the Lakers. Yeah, but I'm saying like that's like good soccer. Some soccer rivalries, you'll see like oh, if we have a sh- shitty season, like whatever, as long as we beat you know this team. So like and, uh, Celtic and Rangers, same thing. Like oh, even if we don't win the league, that's okay. Yo, as long the as Clippers the Clippers have lost some weird one. I mean, that's what I'm like, saying. They lost to OKC. They got their ass whipped by Giannis. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. In, in in other LA uh, sports Which is, news, yeah, our college football team suck. Yeah, Man. well, that's that's. It's been in the and the, and the and the coach we jettisoned is, is destroying everybody right now. Is about to win the national championship. You mean Coach Sark? So Coach Sarkeesian? <laughs> Steve <laughs> Sarkeesian from no. LSU? Is, is, Yo, is he, he 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 like turned in a whole book is it, is it on like why he should be coach yeah. for LSU. Is Sarkeesian? Yeah. yeah. No, I thought the head coach for LSU was uh what's his face? Ed Argon and oh Orgeron. Yeah. Oh my God, you're right. Why am I thinking Steve Sarkeesian? Oh no, yeah. I don't know. 
But he, he had always rocks. Yeah, this guy, they, he sounds the same. Yeah, they all sound yeah. like. Always rock. Yeah. <laughs> he, he sounds like he a sounds pissed like, off Italian from New York. <laughs> like somebody in Uncut Gems and shit. <laughs> yeah, but oh, you the, guys with the, Muppet, with yeah. the Muppet version. Yeah. Ed Orgeron was like, hey, you guys, I'm trying to do a press conference. Can you give Yo, me down back there? <laughs> on top of that, Joe Burrow. God, he's phenomenal. He's crazy good. Yeah, seven touchdowns? Eight touchdowns. Five in the first half. That's ridiculous. The LSU, the LSU quarterback? <laughs> yeah, yeah, hopefully he doesn't Ooh. go to Cincinnati. That's Heisman just going to be whack. Brown James. Cincinnati is just the poor man's uh, Cleveland. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, please. I hope I hope somebody trades up for that first pick overall. What state is Cincinnati in? Ohio. Ohio. What state is Cleveland in? Ohio. There you go. <laughs> Either ruin, way. Going to ruin his career. <laughs> it's shit. So the Rams said goodbye to the Coliseum today, and Chris Rico was there. I was there. Oh, how'd it go? Yo, how was the go? game? I'm an insider. I'm uh, the Chris Rams Rico, insider. The insider. Yeah, <laughs> the Rams insider who hates the Rams. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, tell us what you said before the podcast. This was very interesting. What, what you had to say about what about the 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 future of LA football in LA, dude? Like, well, besides the Wildcats. Like there is no <laughs> excitement for a Rams game. Like I have, I don't think there's ever been. Like Jared Goff has never signaled. Like, can you please quiet down? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I know what you're saying. Did the bird, the Yo, bird in the backfield. The Ra- going to a Rams game feels like somebody liking their own Instagram post. <laughs> oh, or Twitter. I'm on Twitter a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Or re- yeah. Retweeting themselves. It's just <laughs> like it's just really bad. Like. There's no excitement in the game. Yeah, it's it's hard for me to accept like a passionate Rams fan. Mm. It's really weird. Like I can see like okay, 49er fans passionate. You know what I mean, and other teams. But for me to take a Rams fan serious is really hard for me. I feel like the I I, I went to the Ravens uh, 49ers game and I did feel like the, the Ravens fan, Rams game. The Ravens Rams game. What did I say? 49ers. Oh, Ravens Rams game, and I did feel like. The crowd was so far apart. Like, it's so yeah. disjointed. And it's part of it's the stadium because, you know, Coliseum's a really hard place to play and, like, fill it up and everything. But that was a must-win game for the Rams. Yep. And it was like the crowd wasn't even – they were like, oh, show us something. A typical L.A. crowd. That's what I'm show saying. Show us yeah, something exactly. to get us excited instead of the crowd bringing the noise. And it's on top of that that whose house, Rams' house, doesn't hit very well. Especially when you're losing yeah. by 30. And then they're always like, make noise, make noise, and make noise. Right. Like, dude, why doesn't the team help us make noise? You know what I mean? <laughs> make noise. Yo, so, can I get another beer? But on a positive side, White Kyler Cop. Murray is 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 gonna be dope. Kyler Murray's legit. Yeah. We, we I think he's gonna be taken it's gonna be him and Russell Wilson. I'm not buying the Niners after this season. Russell Wilson? Yeah. Kyler Murray? Kyler Murray, Russell Wilson. That's gonna be a head to head for many years to come. What about Lamar Jackson? Well, Patrick he, Mahomes. He's not in the NFC. Oh, West. I see what yeah, you're saying. Divisional. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Chill. Oh, big trust. Bad. You know what? <laughs> I was about to. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to go at it. But yeah, like uh, on top of that, it, it's funny on the scoreboard it says you know SoFi Stadium season right. tickets. It's like a hundred and five dollars a game. What? Starting at one hundred five dollars a season. Yeah, my Charger tickets are much less than that, and I have that is stu- like Rams. Like Rams just don't know how to figure it out. Like they're again, they're liking themselves. They're like that uh, that person posting on Instagram that just hasn't really figured it out. That nobody really liking their shit. You know what I mean? That's why I got Charger tickets. The see the actual tickets themselves were yeah. cheaper, and I have closer tickets than I would have with the Rams. And yeah. the PSL license was cheaper. And, nice. And, and my trip in is Jalen Ramsey injured. He didn't play today. Oh, he and was. if he didn't play today, that's kind of fucking whack of that team too, man. Yeah, I don't. He must be hurt because if see. you're a new coach, I mean, if you're a new player playing with for a new coach, like he bro, has feelings hurt. That's I wouldn't mean. put it past him that he's like, nah, this game doesn't mean shit. I know. would. Th- these guys make so much money, bro, per game. They gotta play. They gotta play. Because there's only seven, sixteen games. You know the what I mean? Cornerback is an act for the meaningless final against uh, with, with the knee. In- oh, I suppose he had a knee injury. I'm sure he did. There's only 16 games, and it's the last game of the season. I'm like, bro, you got you to gotta show me something. You're up for a contract extension? But, again, it doesn't put it past me that Jalen Ramsey just, eh, I'm at, I don't want to play. And the Rams kind of hiding it, saying that God, he has a knee injury. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, not that they were almost going to lose, but it was kind of a game. Somebody commented on this. I am not injured. Someone has to be home to sign for the Brinks delivery. Regards, <laughs> Jalen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, but uh, I don't see no excitement there. And uh, I don't, man, who knows if that stadium is going to be done? And we already know how the Chargers games go with <laughs> more away fans than any other. Bro, I was telling Alex last week. I I've been so caught up on how bad the Raiders suck that I forgot the Chargers really fucking suck. <laughs> <laughs> And I don't think Cam Newton is just the answer because I know Philip Rivers, you know, it's cost him a few games like that, but. Oh, because I said that the Chargers should go after Cam Newton. Yeah. I don't think he's the answer either, but I think he's the answer for selling more tickets. And I think that's more important right now than getting, getting what Philip Rivers offers. Oh, I agree. But it's good. And also because Philip Rivers never bought in the whole LA thing, you know? Yeah. He, he, he still lives in San Diego and I feel like you have to commit to the city, but. I think he went on Jimmy Kimmel and said something like that. Yeah. But that, I don't know, man. Again, not a lot of excitement for L.A. football in the NFL. XFL, obviously. Cat's going to kill it. I wore my Wildcats hat to the game. Oh, and I got nice. A, and I got a few, hey, excited for that. Oh, did you? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, like, I know that team. I'm like, yup. Cool story, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, Thanks, asshole. <laughs> so for the NFL playoffs, we have on the AFC side – Baltimore, big trust, big Ra- trust Ravens. Hey, Kansas City have the the buy. We, we're not going to talk about how that's Gabe's team, the Ravens. No, nobody cares, man. Come on, man, that's oh, my team. Ever sorry, since oh, I've been uh, it's, a- it's funny because I was thinking today for like the last ten years, like nine of the last ten years, people have been like, "Oh, you're like you're a Ravens fan." I'm like, "Oh, okay, like that's cool." I've never known a Ravens fan, and now I, I wear all my Ravens stuff everywhere, and they're like, "Oh, another bandwagon Ravens Ravens fan." I'm like, "Bro, it's not. Come on, man. Like I could show you all my pictures and everything. They've been good for a while, man." They've been good for since they started. Yeah, Ray Lewis, bro. <laughs> that, but that's the thing. It's like you know, while being out here, you don't get many Ravens fans. But when you nah, see, you're tripping. There's like, there's like, don't you have not a like flock? a lot, but there's enough. Yeah, don't you guys have a whole flock? We got yeah. a whole flock of Ravens because we flock, <laughs> flocka, flocka. <laughs> <You'd be> fl- <laughs> Walker, flocker, Gabe. <laughs> that was my, that, that was his my rapper rap name, name. Back, <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> Drop a hot 16 for us, bro. How about the playoffs? <laughs> flaka, flaka. Yo, if you have a mixtape, bring it in one day. <laughs> I hey, bet you have one of those Lone Limit covers, too. Huh. <laughs> remember, the old, remember the old cassettes? You'd have to yeah. record them. You could record over them like 100 times. Yeah. You put them in the, and play a radio song you like. Yeah. And then record it. Hold it. Pull it. Pull yeah. It. yeah. Beep. Yeah. So oh, he went through the whole Dipset era. <laughs> <laughs> I hey. did. Hey. Uh, he's wearing throwback jerseys and shit. Hey. He had one of the jackets with all the patches on it. Starter. <laughs> yeah. Starter jacket. Yeah. But it was all Ravens patches. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's well, if you was in high school were you high school in the nineties or yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't think when when, when were the Ravens? Two thousand and one? Yeah, two thousand and one. Yeah, right. So who were you a fan before that? Wasn't hey, can we football. acknowledge that I was right about the Titans? Was not a fan of football no. before that. Can we Hated acknowledge it. that, please, Alex? No. Give me that for once. What? You call you call us every time. You say the and I've been fucking right, dude. You say the Titans are going to win Super Bowl every year, and then they don't, and then they're going to win it this year. Well, they made the play. I'll the give you that much. They made the playoffs. I didn't think they the big would. Big trust is dope. I didn't think the, I didn't think my team would make the playoffs, and they did. Are they going to keep Tanner Hill next year? You think? Uh, big ups. They to, have to. They have to. Big ups to Chris. Damn, that was fast. They have to. They have to. They have to. Yeah, give them a chance. What they, do they like draft like a second? They uh, should second they should, round quarterback. They should somebody? draft a third round quarterback. They should trade third Mariota round. for something like you know, yeah, uh, for, Derek for Carr. A third round pick. <laughs> for a third round <laughs> for Derek Carr. <laughs> Bro, there's plenty of teams who need a quarterback like Mariota. Who? Chicago. Well, definitely. That's that's actually not a bad thing. What if he ends up with the Patriots? Mariota. Man, that went quite real quick. As a backup. As a backup. Tom Brady's last year. Mark, there's just so much pressure. I think Tom Brady, I think that's it. It's weird. It'd be up to Bill Belichick, right? So it's just his preference of his, if he wants a young guy who nobody's kind of heard of. like I'm not buying Bill Belichick well, anymore. Mariota, yeah, we're starting to see how it, it, it was It was a lot of Tom Brady there. Hey, short sleeve, gray sweater <laughs> Bill is about to come out. Hey, no, Mar- Mar- Tom Brady Mariota, Mariota is a, uh, a Bill Belichick type player. I would I would agree. Yeah. Quiet. Doesn't say much. No, same way up. From he, Tropical Island. He can run the same system and put Mariota right in there. Yep. He doesn't need that Chip Kelly mm. offense. So we have Houston playing Buffalo in the wild card round. Uh, Buffalo. Real quick, who you guys got? I want to I want to go Houston. Call it now. I think I'm going with Houston. That's a tough one because they're both so good, man. They're both really good. To be honest with you, look, I think Big Trust is the best team there, but at all those teams, you can kind of just kind of throw them in a bag no, and pick let's one. Let's just talk about the wild card, though. 
Houston and, and, and Buffalo. I'll go again. Houston. Big game. Because I think uh, JJ Watt's back, right? Uh, yeah, he, yeah, he came, back, he's like, he came back. Yeah, Waka, Waka Flocka. I, I I know that the easy pick is Houston. Not the easy pick because it's a hard game, but the easier pick is Houston because of their offensive firepower. I just feel like Buffalo's defense is gonna make some. They've been doing it all season. I think they're gonna make some plays, and they're gonna be able to make uh, create some turnovers. And I just feel like the pressure's all on Houston. Like Buffalo's not yeah, supposed to be you. there. I agree. With you. I agree and you. and because of that, I feel like they're gonna well, be low key. Buffalo could have been uh, in the first first place in the conference. Mm-hmm. So yeah, if they didn't lose to the Patriots. Yeah. But that's what I mean. I, I feel like because the pressure is all on the clear, clear. Texans to make the plays, I feel like that gives the advantage to the to the Bills defense because they're already a turnover making team. Yeah. So if you have pressure as well added on to that, I just feel like that plays into the Bills' hands. And I think if they can get, you know, a couple turnover, two turnovers, and one of them be, you know, lead to a direct touchdown, I think that the Bills are going to win. But I actually have the Bills winning that game. And when they play the Ravens, that's going to be a defensive, like, battle. It's going to be, like, 14 to 10. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be. That's It was 2017 the first time they played them, and that was – it didn't feel those, like Those games are always dope. I know, I know they're not high scoring, but – those yeah. defensive battles are dope. Plus, who doesn't like Bill's Mafia? Mm. Bill's Mafia is kind of funny. It's just funny to laugh at. Who doesn't Get like Buffalo tables. Wings? <laughs> <laughs> Buffalo Wings. I, uh, I'm going to go with Bills as well. Ooh, um, okay, fuck you guys then. All right. Patriots and Titans. Titans, obviously. Yeah, they're my team. I got the Titans. They're going to crush. You got to pick your team, but I'm picking the Patriots. They're, oh, no, they're, they're done. You guys told me that there's no way that the Titans have their number, blah, 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 blah. Oh, no, you said that about the Titans and the Chiefs. Yeah. But I feel like I, – I just feel like the Patriots – I can't pick against the Patriots in the no, playoffs. No, that makes sense. But if there's a round the Patriots are suspect in, it's the wild card round. I think the Titans are going to Titans going to win it. Titans going to win it. And I hope, and I hope it's Titans yeah. versus Ravens AFC Championship because I've predicted it. But I, th- I think – And I'm right like nine out of ten times. I think the, I think the Titans will play the, the, the Ravens in the divisional round. I like how everybody's predictions have the Ravens in it, so I'm fine with both of you. Yo, we should watch it. To, we should the three of us should watch it together. If, if the Ravens and the Titans play, we gotta watch it because together. We gotta have a watch party because you know we I'm gotta a Ravens have a watch fan. party, dude. I'll invite everybody yeah. I know. Actually, you, uh, we should just watch right here and we need a. I'm gonna lubricate my uh, myself with Graves tears that night. With Graves mm. tears, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> come on, man. Yo, I'm with that, dude. Fuck yeah, let's talk your shit, Alex. I'm a ninja. I talk your shit, man. Let them know. By the way, for everybody listening, uh, we're watching the Liga Amekis final right now, and it's uh, Monterrey against America, and they're about to go into the penalty. into PKs, and penalty kicks. I'm an American Memo. I'm an America fan, so. Are you really an America fan? Yeah. Wow. Interesting. I've told you this <laughs> a bunch of times. You probably have. You have. So in the NFC, we have the Saints against the Vikings. Mm-hmm. Saints. Dude, Saints are going to kill him. Yeah. Oh, Saints. that's the first round? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Saints are going uh, They're out for blood, dude, on that one. I don't even, the Saints yeah. are probably the second best team in the division. Oh, is that is that what happened when they Ahead of the Packers, I think. Is, was that when the when the Vikings I, I'll put the I'll put the Niners and the Saints in the same Is like, that is that mm-hmm. when the same mm-hmm. team? Is that yeah. when the Vikings beat them a couple years ago? Remember that catch? Yeah, that's the, the miracle duck? catch. Yes. Oh. That's why they're up for revenge. And what a waste of space that fucking was. <laughs> I know. They didn't even do it. They lost yeah. the next game. Yeah, they got fucking murdered. If they went on a miracle run, it would have been yeah. like, oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. And then in the other uh, matchup, we got the Seattle Seahawks against the Philadelphia Pigeons. Oh, that's a weak-ass game. I mean, that's, the Eagles. That's a snooze fest. Carson Wentz and the Replaceables. I can see the Eagles winning that one just some weird way. Carson Wentz and the 14 people on the practice squad. Oh, you heard about the Saints trying out and being impressed by. A.B.? Yep. I mean, oh, he's, yeah. I mean, he's a... Gener- Fuck AB, first off. I'm he's a generational that. talent, bro. Mm. Of course you're going to be impressed by him. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... He ain't no oh. Joe Burrow. People, like, oh. people are saying, like, AB's got a, gotten a tryout when Kaepernick did it during the whole time. It's like, last time... Did they, they really say that? Yes. Did Pe- they really say people that? People are really saying... Oh, uh, Jamel Hill, the ESP, uh, former ESPN. Okay, she... That's why she's former. Dude, she's... <laughs> <like>. <laughs> She just says sometimes I'm like, all right, like, did you think this out before you put it up? Because huh. and it's funny because AB is literally a black man. <laughs> it's crazy. He's like, oh, this is another, this is another example of how uh, Kaepernick's workout was a sham or was like a fake or was like all staged. And it's like the last time we saw Kaepernick, he was playing horrible. Yeah. The last time we saw AB, he was still the best receiver in exactly. the NFL. Exactly. 
And he and he was dope on the hard knocks. Yeah, that's <laughs> so what fuck AB. That's why I said like, oh, he. Imp- so you mean the best quarterback in the in, in, in the world? Oh, sorry, the best receiver in the world impressed you? Like, come on, man. Right. He should still ball. Mm. He's just got something going on, man. I don't know what his deal is. Oh, oh here goes the first PK. The peyote. All right, Monterrey versus Tiba Memo. Ooh, Damn. at the middle. Memo, what the Ooh. fuck, dog? I, I, that's a Mexico the, legend right there. I can't, too. I can't see it from here. Memo was blocked. My, my, um, my. You see his fluff? Do you want to put it on this screen right here? No, it's okay. No. The Lakers are already going to win. Lakers, the actually, shit. No, they're going to win. Lakers yeah. about to beat Dallas. Dallas, who just beat the Lakers. Dallas loves their white boys. <laughs> they do. They love their white boys. They, they do. do. Mm-hmm. There was I mean, that whole investigation with Mark Cuban. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was saying they were talking about how he didn't realize on the staff there was only like one minority person on his staff. He's like, I didn't even realize that. Yeah. I was like, what? How do you? Yeah, not- Mark. He doesn't sure. see color, yeah. bro, because he doesn't yeah. see color. Mock. Maki Mock. Here comes America. Oh, oh, what the fuck? Celos. Yo, homie needs to get rid of that tattoo. That looks stupid as hell, dude. Dude, he missed a penalty. Is that guy Mexican? No, nah, he look. He definitely looks Argentinian. My guy missed the penalty, <laughs> bro. Dude, yo, I, that guy, that that goalie didn't even realize he blocked it. I don't even want to <laughs> watch. He hit it so hard. Yeah, he's like, oh shit, I blocked that I shit. I don't even want to watch this anymore. Oh, for, by the way, everybody, Alex is an American fan, so he's dreading this right now. His team just missed it, so he's like, oh, I hate you guys. Do you, Do you guys think Rivers is done with the with the Chargers? Do you think Philip Rivers is done? With the Chargers, I love Philip, and it, I, but I've. Do you think he's done with the Chargers? Yeah, I think he should be. I think they should be done with him. I think they should be done with him. Here comes Monterrey, second PK. Yes, saved by Memo Ochoa. Memo, he's so good That's at PK. Good for me, yeah, he's good. Hey, uh, I think they should be done with Philip Rivers, though. There's like no future there. They're moving into the new stadium. They need a flashy new quarterback. Like I said, Cam Newton's the guy for them. Memo flies to the air like you he's really, really here Mexican. Angel. If they can't get Cam Newton, I'm saying they should go for Gardner Minshew, at least someone who's got like a personality Dude, who you can bring to LA. He's Uncle gonna, Rico he's, is not he's LA. He's literally, bro. yeah, he's. Uh, he, you can bring him here and market that guy so big. Uncle Rico? They already flew Uncle Rico over there to like do a. a a, a movie shoot with not a movie shoot, but like a no, I know, show but with. but he's he's only a rookie. Yeah. So how would the Chargers pick him up? They could trade for him, right? Oh, but they don't even give up anything crazy. What are you talking about, dude? That's like Garner is easily three first round draft picks. No, he's up. To, <laughs> he's not <laughs> <laughs> for your next three years. Trust me, the the ownership of the Jaguars do not think he's the solution to to the quarterback. No, they don't. But they only signed Nick Foles to the one, right? Yeah. So that's the problem is like you got to figure out how bad the where the Jaguars are mentally because man they lost they already got rid of Jay the Ramsey like what's their what's their deal here for the next year Well they got a bunch of draft picks for Jalen Ramsey mm-hmm. That's what I mean that's, though that's what's their capital What what's their goal here are they going to try to build a team around Gardner Minshew because we saw how it worked with Lamar Jackson and how it's working with what's his name in Arizona now Kyler Murray Kyler Murray they're going to start doing that they already started benching David Johnson this year and they're trying to build they're building the team around Kyler Murray. So with that being said, and then RG three came out and balled today, and I'm sure some franchises are like, damn. And like, there's also maybe they're Teddy Bridgewater. Right. Yeah. There's Dude. Jameis Winston. Dude, um Mark, RG- Marcus Mariota. I thought RG three was over and he looked really good today. He looked sharp. Yes. Sharp. And, and in that offense. But so he's people, also playing with the Ravens. So let's, also is it, <laughs> And is, he was playing against the Steelers. Is his yeah. knees sharp though? <laughs> his knees Week look good. Week sixteen in the cold. But I tell Baltimore. you what, I'd rather have that Bears lineup with RG three than with Mitch Trubitsky. Uh, man, yeah. Mitch yeah. Trubisky can uh, yeah, I agree, but yeah, I agree. he's not all that bad. He's not that bad. He's not good. That's the thing. He's not good, but like you're wasting a really good Bears team that has good pieces around him. Um, they've had better before, like when when Howard was back there, they they had a better. And when uh, what's his name, Jay Cutler was back there, they had mm-hmm. some really really good Bears teams. But I don't know, man. I just feel like there's a lot missing on that Bears team. That's not just Mitch. Yeah, I just feel they like they have no really good receivers. That running back to well, Montgomery is all he's all right. Well, LA Chargers, maybe they should pick up RG three, the Chargers. The char- well, they have Tyrod Taylor, right? Yeah, yeah, but. They're not even giving him a shot. And then, and then listening there's to a, a, The thing is, there's a lot of, like, the quarterback depth for this draft is pretty thick. So, yeah, that's I mean, true. they can kind of take their pick. 
Oh, that looked like a bad. Yeah. Yeah. got player just skied the penalty over, and he's like, Yo, "Damn, I he is it the again. reason why Latinos just, shouldn't bleach their hair." He just kicked the penalty. <laughs> both, both bleached hair guys. Yeah, and missed. yeah, don't. Dude, he he shanked that. He shanked. And then he he kicked the ground. Look, he shanked that. Bro. See how the ground came up, and yeah. then he kicks the ground after. He shanked that. He shanked that. No mames. Hey, look at that guy <laughs> said I said no mames. <laughs> no mames. Wait, so where are they at? What's that called? The walk they do before the game? El Camino de something? El Camino de Mames? El cro Crack? I don't know what it's called. They have some crazy walk that America fans do before the game. Then. Lakers. Walk up like a walk. Lakers crip won. Walk. They crip walk. <laughs> yeah, news. Yeah. <laughs> they crip walk down in the field. <laughs> Lakers won. The Laker girls. Hey, <laughs> you sound like you sound like homie from the state. So they're on a two-game win streak. Yes. Okay. Well, well actually, not, against good teams too. It's not a win streak until it's three, right? Mm, well, it's still two games. Yeah. Back to back. Okay, I like that. Mm -hmm. Back to back. Mm -hmm. To back. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So let's go to some XFL news. It's been a, it's been a, uh, an uneventful week. This is an XFL Well, because they broke camp and they're like waiting yeah. to go back to, to Houston. To, to, now they're going to go. They broke mini camp and they're waiting for training camp. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So the biggest thing that come out is uh, there. So there's news that Vince McMahon and the WWE are being sued. Yep, there goes game. By their shareholders I over it, ties with the XFL that he diverted major funds from the WWE to the <clears> XFL <throat> and they're not cool with it because they're the shareholders. Yeah, well, I think they can just get paid out or something like that. I don't. He sold the stock though. He sold his yeah, stock. That's what I'm saying. To make this league, so it's, I don't know. I think the major thing isn't money; it's resources. So, what does that mean exactly? Does that mean like his financial people he brought over to help him start the XFL, but he used the funds from WWE to pay them, like under their salary? You know what I mean? Like you're paying a guy two hundred thousand dollars a year to write your books, but at the same time you slid him some paper. You're like, hey, can you figure this out for me too? So those are resources. You can't like tie direct one, I think so. this one says that um, uh, that they didn't let him know or something like that. Giovanni Dos Santos. So what it looks like to me is that the shareholders were mad that he sold uh, his shares, some of his shares in WWE to start a new company called oh, Alpha Entertainment. What a PK. Who? By Dos Santos. Um, Vincent Man. Vincent Man started a new company called Alpha Entertainment, uh -huh. which owns the XFL. So it sounds to me that shareholders might be a little butthurt that he left to start this and this didn't go under the umbrella. But this is only one group, right? This is like the some firefighters from Oklahoma. Uh, it says that Vince McMahon and other senior officers of WWE have diverted resources to the NFL, XFL, or XFL. So does, what does that mean? Is it over? It's over. Rayado. Man, Alex, my bad, bro. Monterrey, well, campeón. On the bright side, Titans won. Ravens won, too. And the Lakers won. Mm -hmm. LA, LA, LA. You can't, LA. You can't get it all, Alex. So we're less than two. We're two months away, right? We're not less than. We're two we're months like away. We're six weeks away. away. Shh. Yeah, bro. Tamolito. Yeah, tamolito. Yeah. And you know what? Also, the... Can we get some Wildcat news? Let's get into some Wildcat news. Wow. Yo, uh, they picked up some players this week, and it seems like it's the same the same three positions for me than what I've seen. It's just defensive back, running back, mm -hmm. and tackle. Like, you know, they traded those two guys for, with the – was it the Vipers? Mm -hmm. The Vipers. Yeah, right. And then now they just picked up some – they picked up four players off of waivers. So <laughs> I'm wondering what's going on there. A little concerned about that. Cause I remember we were talking, Alex, that I'm like excited to see Elijah Wood play. Yeah, Elijah Hood. Sorry, uh, Elijah Wood. Like they Elijah picked up this Hood. dude, du Juan Harris. Du Juan Harris. But du Juan is like thirty something, thirty one. He's a thirty one year old running back. I mean. You know, a thirty-one the, year old running back. I think the good thing yeah. for the for the LA Wildcats is honestly that no other market, well, the New York market can provide, is that we have two teams. So you have two teams that you can choose players from. Like let's say if they cut them, where mm -hmm. like if you cut them from the Chargers, you cut them from the Rams, they have a place to go to with the LA Wildcats. So we do have some depth choices here, where a lot of other cities might not have that as well. They don't have that as much depth to 
to choose from. So I think that's obviously a huge advantage for us here. And that's why I think there's more roster moves, maybe going to be more roster moves from like, that well, I think there's going to be a ton out. of roster moves, especially going to the training camp. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it just seems like, again, it's the same three positions. Cause they let go of a running back last week or something. No, didn't they? Um, yeah, I saw this news. I forgot Who, which one I saw. I didn't see the, I remember seeing the Man, notice. We are great on fact checking. <laughs> We are the best. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely uh, looked this up before yeah. the show. We it's do hard. our homework. It's hard when you're watching the finals of the Mexican Soccer League. Yeah, sorry. We were watching. Uh, sorry for all our listeners. We were watching the Lakers game, and we were watching a Mexican final, and we got kind of wrapped up in that. Uh, on these tamales, too. And it, Yeah, my tamales. And it was the last game of the season for a lot of all the NFL teams. So, you know, really? we're, we're really busy. That. We're going with that. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> I'm going with that. That's just this is a busy week for me, man. We're mo- we're moving offices at work, and I just had to like work late stuff. Hey, when, so, when so, are they going to update the Wildcats gear? Though we so talked about that two weeks ago. Uh, mm-hmm. So oh. we added a uh, we added a wide receiver in uh, Jordan Smallwood. Jordan Smallwood. We added a defensive tackle in uh, um Roderick Roderick Henderson. We added uh, a DB in Darnell Hill. Mm-hmm. Darnell. And a uh, running back in Dewan Harris. Is that the one that's 31 years old? Yeah, it's 31 years old, dude. It's crazy, right? Oh, even, even his photo from college looks old. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm telling you, man. What's going on there? I don't know, man. Maybe that's we, funny. Maybe I mean, you got you to gotta, you know, you turn every rock to see what you got, right? Maybe we need some yeah. veteran presence. Mm, at running back? <laughs> they don't even do that in the NFL. <laughs> You're I mean, right. <laughs> maybe we're, we're thinking outside the box. Okay. I don't know, bro. I can't. So, dude, actually, the uh, Jordan Smallwood six two for the wide receiver. And uh, like I said before, the 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 Wildcats receivers are already tall. Mm-hmm. Damn, Norman Chow is cooking up something. No, he is over the top. Ooh. He's watched that movie too many times with Sylvester. Oh, Stallone. and Jordan Smallwood comes from the Chargers. Oh, oh that's snap. Smallwood. Yeah. Oh, I know him. You do? Yeah, me too. I mean, oh. I know him like I've seen him play a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they, they got a picture of Beast Mode. Didn't he play with the Eagles before that? They got a picture of Beast Mode. Yeah, I, he did. I think so. They got a picture of Beast Mode holding up a Seattle Dragons t-shirt. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that would be nice to see that. Yeah. Oh. He actually did all right today, too. Yeah, he did. I just saw the highlights on Twitter. I'm not going to watch that bum-ass game. Whoa, wow. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel. I'm not going to watch that bum-ass game. Why, because the Raiders aren't in it? Nah, because they got a Kyler Murray in it. Hey, Is that your new guy? Kyler? my new guy, man. He's actually yeah. not as small as people, you know, when you see him on the field mm-hmm. against, like, with his teammates. Those guys are giant, though. Yeah, he doesn't look that small. <laughs> I wonder if he has, like, high heels on his glutes. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Jonas Smallwood. The vibe is... Yeah, yeah. Did you guys see the? Have you guys seen the 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 replica XFL ball? No, I've only seen the official one. Oh, the replica one is not very good looking. Really? No, really, no. A copy of a copy. <laughs> it's uh it, it doesn't look like the real one. It's a spal- made by Spalding. What? Yeah. Doesn't Spalding only make like volleyballs? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Obviously, they make this football. What? Yeah, man, the the XFL guys step up their merch game. They still haven't changed anything. I mean, they got the they got the authentic jerseys now. Mm. The only, the the LA what's it called the scrum shirt looks cool. The scrum shirt, but it looks kind of old. But that's how it's supposed to look, like dirty, like that one. Yeah, that one's cool. That looks like a fucking tap out shirt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Did you say tap out, bro? Tap out. Yeah, tap out. Remember that fucking brand? Yeah. I like I like the hoodie, the, the zip up. The zip up, right? I don't the half Shit. zip up. Let me see the zip up. The quarter yeah. zip up or whatever it is. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't know. That's like I think the that's the one that rocking. coach used, yeah, yeah, right? I think I saw him in that. The quarter zip. I, I like the uh oh, I like the, the I like the, the crew the crew uh all right. They're kinda of stepping it up. Yeah. That shirt's not that's horrible. Yeah. Oh, it's a tank top for. for what is this? Yo, it's a tank, bro. Sun's out, guns out, dude. The little kids' gear look looks better. 
Oh. Yeah, that tank top, that white one looks. What about this this baby onesie? Can I get that an adult extra yeah, large? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got some fantasies about that. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, you can get an XFL car magnet for eight ninety nine. Oh, they 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 put up the authentic game jerseys now. Yeah, yeah the two hundred and something. Two hundred and twenty five dollars for the authentic game jerseys. No longer the replicas. They're out of large. The Wildcats sold sold out of large. They look much mm. better than the replicas. I'll say that much. Oh, yeah. yeah, they're stitched. Oh, it's stitched. Hmm. All right. Interesting. We're going to be giving away for a lucky <laughs> listener <laughs> more episodes. Oh, I, 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 <laughs> I, I, I mailed out the T-shirts we were giving away. Uh, oh, did you really? Oh, you did? Yeah. We have another shirt to give out. <clears throat> yeah, we have some more shirts to give out. Nice. Yep. If people are still listening to this podcast, <laughs> we have more. <laughs> hey, we're, we're, we're actually we're actually growing in listeners to every podcast we release. No way, Bruh. Yeah. yeah. Yo, <laughs> it's because it's Gabriel's presence, man. Persistence pays off. <laughs> yeah, it's consistency. It's consistency. <laughs> Persistence breaks resistance. Consistency. I used to do they. I used to do that as a salesman, trained new salesman. I'd be like, persistence breaks resistance. Just be persistent. Eventually, they'll say yes. Mm. Is that how you did it when you were single picking up on girls? Oh my god. <laughs> you live in my apartment complex, you walk by me, hey, she don't say nothing. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow she walks by, hey, she doesn't say nothing. All right, see you tomorrow. Next day she walks by me, I say, Hey, she turns around, and gives me a smile. I'm like, Oh, see, it's working. Next week or next day I say it again. She's like, Hey, uh, I feel bad. I don't even know your name. I'm like, Oh, okay, my name's Gabe. What's up? Damn. Damn. Persistence. Well, look at it is. <laughs> Young listeners. Yeah. Gabe, young Padawan. Yo, Return of the Mac. Dude, I, I, but now he's engaged. Once again. Now he's engaged, making tamales. Yeah, I can't do that. Yeah, I don't want to do done. that. It's over. I think. I the, mean, it's not over until. I mean, look, I don't got nothing on my fingers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I need some Yo, tungsten. Next thing you know, your fiance is gonna break through that door. And put, Gabriel. <laughs> well, that, that's a message to her then. Ooh. She's Ooh. Step up her game. Ooh. Damn! I, mean, I did my part, right? Mm-hmm. The gauntlet your been, part. You the make gauntlet it romantic has been and shit. thrown down. Mm. All she has to do is step up and give me something cheap, tungsten. I'll take it. Mm. Damn! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the gauntlet has been thrown he, he down. Just wants, he just wants a new car. Rico's looking at me and just going, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> "I'm trying uh-huh. to think it was a cheap gift." Uh, yes. <laughs> give uh-huh. me uh, one of those twenty-five cent ones that you put in the thing. Mm. I do think that the, the put a ring on it. Is that what you're saying? Um, the dragons have the best apparel. Oh, they got. Oh, I haven't even looked at it. The dragon. Oh, dude, we said that. We said their their dragon. Their dragon is just dope. I mean, that that green one looks cool like that. Dude, that do, doesn't even. That do be, uh, the Wildcats play in Seattle this season? Uh, yes. Yeah, I we, think yes. We got to go to that. Yes. Always oh, going. DC Defenders, bro, still the best. Yep. Yep, yep. There, that gear is awesome. Yeah, their font, their type kit, their their yeah, their logo. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a little mad that my team lost. Like legit, I'm mad that America lost. Oh, no bro, wonder. I was on, like, man. come on, man, we got we got to move come the show on. on. Yeah. No wonder you're stuck here in the. The whole thing, America. Has your has your team ever lost in front of you in a, in a, in a final on penalties? Yeah. Oh, on penalties. <laughs> you never been crushed, bro. Oh yeah. What am I talking about? Liverpool against uh, AC Milan. Stupid <sighs> in, miracle in Istanbul. Oh yeah, that must have been rough. That was horrible. Up three zero, and you end up losing. Oh yeah, yeah. week yeah. six. Week six, the Wildcats play at Seattle. That must have been rough. March fifteenth. Horrible. horrible. Andriy Chinchenko missed the penalty to. Uh, that would have. Jersey Dudek ended up saving it, I think. He looked like the least confident player I've ever seen in my life. Jersey Dudek? Shevchenko was like the goal god at AC Milan, and he looked like a little boy who's shooting his first ever PK in front of his dad and just like shaking out of his boots. He couldn't even look at the goal. He couldn't look at the ball. He was looking at the ref the whole time. I'll never forget that. I'll never forget that. That was baloney. Yeah, that's how people I feel. listening to this are like, I don't know what you're talking about. That's how I feel right now, bro. Yo, that's how it was last week. But I told you, I went out to the, <laughs> went out. Was it that? Was it that week? There's a week to the Raiders against the Jets. The, no, again, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> 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 against the Jaguars, 
the Wires. Jaguars. 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 Yeah, I know. I say that really bad. It's funny. The, at work, they get at me for that. The, the Jaguars. Jaguars. Yeah. <laughs> the Vipers. Uh, the, uh, the Vipers and the, the Jaguars. The day, the day they lost at home, I had to go to the beach and relax. At least you don't say Jaguars. Jaguar. Yeah. The Jaguar. The Jaguar X type. Jaguar F type. The Jaguar F type. Know your growl. Lisa Jaguar. Uh, they play at Seattle on March 15th. I literally just said that like five minutes ago. On, that that game is going to be on ESPN. ESPN. I, I might not be in town. These games are going to be Where good. Are we going to be at my? No, is that is that Miami weekend? March 15th. Oh, you might be right. I might be in Miami. In Miami. Galaxy. Oh, we should talk about the Galaxy next Bienvenido week. Bienvenido a Miami. Yeah, we got to get a whole thing on that. We could talk about the Galaxy next week. I'll, I I'll, actually I'll, wanted to invite a, a friend of ours to uh, have a, a preview on the Galaxy and the LAFC. Oh, Ooh, oh, 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 she works both? I mean, she does both. Yeah, she does do both. She does do both. She does both. Oh. She does both. What do you mean she does both? She does both. I do one. She does both. Oh. She does both. Oh. Gabe is a straight shooter. Gotcha. Yeah. She swings like the pendulum do. Ooh. Okay. But to her credit, it's a good job covering yeah. both. Yeah, she covers both. Oh, you know what? We can have yes. her. We can have her cover the other team, and you can do the galaxy. It, I like that even more. Damn. Gabe was a specialist. I'm like literally lost here, dude. <laughs> I'm like looking <laughs> back and we're like, what the fuck are you guys talking about? Yeah, Saturday, March 14th. Our friend Delmi. She covers the LA Galaxy and LAFC. Saturday, oh. March 14th at Miami. Yes, the same weekend at Seattle. Damn, the next day. Mm. Why do you want to make that? Can I make that red eye to Seattle mm. to Miami to Seattle? You Why could. would you want to? <laughs> no, I wouldn't want to leave Miami. No, at all. not for Seattle, especially. Nah, no. no. I love I'll, Seattle though. I'll go to Seattle. Okay, I'll, like I'll be I'll be visit. the Seattle insider. I'll go. I'll go. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, you're my you're my Miami plans. I know. I remember that. I remember that. But I think I want to. Dedicate my time to. All right. Were the yes. were the the flights pretty cheap to Miami at that time? Like two no. something. Because ah. that's like that's like peak Miami, right? March. Uh, well, I want. Are you gonna come game prime uh, game? Can, if, if we can make it happen, can you go? If we can make what happen? Uh, your plane ticket. Yeah. I want to party with Prime Game. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> if we can make. Yo, my, he, got, he ain't got no ring yet. If we can mm. make it happen, I'll go. As I said, Prime Game. If comes, we can make the out. plane ticket happen, I'll go. Damn, now, now I do want to go to Miami. Well, I've always wanted to go to Miami, but. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not coming back, bro. Just I'll just be like, the team's sending me. You're going to bury me. Gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's for work, babe. I promise. LA Soccer Nation stepping up their game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to wear all. Uh, shit, you, you're going to be a first to five. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> even better. Correspondent that we Even better. I'll be like, hey, another network's trying to pick me up. And they're trying to pay for my. She'll be, she'll be all about that. She'll be like, oh, you talking about pay? Hell yeah, we. <laughs> that and then the San Jose trip I want to make this week, this year. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh, and to Nashville. Oh yeah, we have to go to Nashville, Nashville in uh, July. I also want to go to or September. New York. September. Miami. Oh, we play at New York in August. Yeah, August thirtieth. Oh, the end of the summer in New York. That the is worst. Not, that does not sound like fun. <laughs> it is the worst. It's so hot. Ugh. Okay, so next week we could the people listening can look forward to some Galaxy. Even if she's not here, I can do Galaxy. So you do Galaxy, and I'll talk to her see when she can come in to do the LAFC. Sounds good. Cool. And what about you? What are you, what are you bringing next week, Chris? What? What's up? What are you? What are, what are you gonna bring next week to the table? Yeah. Just, just me, dude. Just yeah, me. yeah. Consistency and persistence. Oh, oh shit! Oh, that he looked right at me when he said that too. It's that? gonna, it's gonna be right after. No, the, it was in the yeah, shot. Yeah, I huh. just saying. Consistency. Oh, we're and gonna record right after the playoff games. Yep. Oh yeah. So, so Tynes gonna be. Tynes have will have retired. Tim, Tim Brady. Tim, <laughs> Tim Brady will be retired. Tim Brady Tim will. Brady. Tim, Tim Brady will retire for sure. <laughs> Timothy. Yeah, that could be Tom Timothy Brady's last game as a Patriot. Patriot, yeah. Probably won't be though, but I don't think so because they don't have a like a backup a plan. Consistent, persistent. Yeah, good, 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 they traded all of them. Garoppolo, Brissett. Well, Garoppolo hasn't been all that. I mean, he's he's cool. Garoppolo's been balling, bro. He's cool. He's cool. He's cool. I'm not going to take it away from him. He's you, good. You're just mad that you dropped him from your stable of, of, of quarterbacks that you dick ride, and now he's balling. I like Garoppolo. No, he's good. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't say he's like 
No, Rico. At elite level. He was one of Rico's chosen ones. And then uh, when he got mm-hmm. hurt, he dropped him. And now he's mad because he didn't pick him up again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's mad that he 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 hedges bets that, that Baker May was going to be better than Garoppolo. Still could be. <laughs> Not this season. No. St- <laughs> <laughs> Not this season. No, because of Freddie fucking Kitchens. Bro, like, why did they hire a, a, a dude from Lowe's to coach the team? I don't know. Like no, John Dorsey, man, not not the, not the greatest of uh, GMs. They should have bought a, they should have brought Jim Bob Cooter in. Hey, you really buy into those uh, OD, OBJ uh, yes. rumors about that he, want, that he wants to get traded? Yeah, uh, yeah, of course. Oh uh, yeah, but they fired. That's why they fired his coach so yeah. fast because they're like, you know what? We realized stuff wasn't working. We know some of our players aren't happy. Like we're doing this for you, basically. Like mm-hmm. we're gonna start with a whole new clean slate. Oh, they had to make a statement because I was gonna say there's nothing he can really do. It's not like. Well, they brought in. Imagine if they bring in Ron Rivera for the Browns. Riverboat Ron, bro. But don't you think they'll bring like an offensive coach? Yeah, I do. Yeah, but imagine Rivera? if they brought in Ron Rivera. I mean, yeah. But who would the off- I mean, they'd have to go look for a good offensive coordinator. Yeah, because the one they have now sucks. They need to burn it all down and start over. Yeah, I agree. I'm gonna take that away. What's up with the Dallas Cowboys? If they hire Ron Rivera, they're going to the uh, NFC Championship next year. NFC. Yeah. The Browns are going to the NFC Championship? No, no, no. The Cowboys. He just oh, oh Cowboys. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I said if they, if they hire Ron Rivera, they're going to the NFC Championship next year. I agree with that. I agree with that, too. If the but Cowboy, Jerry Jones Cow- won't do it. But it's funny because Cowboy fans Why? are like, because Ron Rivera don't play. Riverboat Ron? He don't play. Yeah. He won't play his stupid games. River- He'll quit in front of everybody and say, I can't I play for an owner who tries to control what I do. Jerry Jones is starting to become like late. Um, Jerry Jones just coached the team. Late uh, Al Davis. <laughs> yeah. And late Al Davis. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what old rich people do. He, he's nobody. He probably has nobody around him who tells him no. Not at all. You know what I mean? You surround yourself with people like that. Like if he wants you, to you win, th- you think all your decisions are right. Cause nobody will tell you no. If he wants to win, he would hire a rule run. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure he'll hear the noise and I'm sure, you know, they'll talk about that on first take and all these places and, Get up, and they'll be talking about how they need to hire. Uh, they've been talking about it for the last year that they need to get rid of Jason Garrett because he's just a yes man. They talked about it for his last extension mm-hmm. that they need to hire someone with more ganas because he's just a yes man. And if they want to progress to the next level, they need someone. They need Jerry Jones to step back, and they need a coach. Because that offensive in. coach, I remember the first four, few games when they were playing those shitty mm-hmm. teams, they were like, "Oh, this guy's the next, you know, offensive guru and right. whatever." And then all of a he just fell off. Whoever their offensive coordinator is, that young guy, I think he was. He was. Wasn't he a quarterback with the Cowboys at one point? Uh, you mean, what's his name? Kellen Moore. Yeah, Kellen Moore. Yeah, he, he used was, to be right? a quarterback with the Cowboys, right? Mm. No, I don't know about all that. Yeah, he played for the Cowboys. Yeah, for two years. Boom. Boom. I know about all that. He, he was in the league for uh, five years, mm. four and a half, three with the Lions, two with the Cowboys, or two with the Lions, two with the, two and a half with the Lions, two and a half with the Cowboys, two and two. Hey, you know who I think might be in the hot seat next season too is a uh, home coach for the Chargers. Oh, uh, um, oh my God, why can't I think of his McDon- name? Vance. No, 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 no. What's his name? <laughs> Anthony Lynn. Anthony Lynn. I like Anthony Lynn, but I just feel like it's the same thing, dude. He's just. I think I think the the I think their he's biggest Norv, need he's like is Norv a Turner. quarterback. Yeah, it's like the same thing. Yeah, I just think their biggest need is a quarterback. I just don't think Philip Rivers is it. So it depends on what they do getting a quarterback. It, it depends on what the which direction the franchise needs to go. They needed to come into LA and make a splash, and they didn't do that. The well, Ram- both teams didn't do yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> well, the Rams tried. They were very close to winning it. Honestly, the Rams. If they would have won that Super Bowl, it would have been a way different story. That's a good oh, point, agreed, though. Agreed, agreed. The Rams tried. Like, they went out and bought talent and yeah. tried to assemble, like, a mega team. And then they, they, sh- they shit the bed. The, the Chargers came in and, like, tried to still do the same thing they Actually, were doing in their, San Diego. What's their, what's their cap next year? You know what I mean? Like, the, the Chargers came in and tried to just kind of keep the ball rolling. Yeah. And to their credit, last year they they beat my Ravens. They won a playoff game. You know, they made it to the playoffs last game of season or whatever, and then they beat the Ravens in mm-hmm. Baltimore. 
yeah. and then this season they come back with a losing record. They got a lot of cap next season. And it's, but it's almost like they fell apart, like they're regressing this year. That's the hard part with NFL. Also, like the Ravens are the best team in the NFL this year. Next year they could miss the playoffs entirely. Like th- that's how the NFL is. Yeah. Also, um, I think with the Chargers, they never really pick up like a uh, high profile free agents, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they they normally try to do, do it through the draft. Um, the Ravens, the Ravens have the highest percentage of any team in the playoffs to make try to, to chances to make the Super Bowl at forty two point four. That's that's literally obvious. <laughs> best, uh, best team. In the NFL. That's literally <laughs> obvious. <laughs> You know, even just bullshitting today, they've spanked the Steelers, which have a good defense. Yeah. I hope Mark Ingram's healthy. That's the only thing. He, he like, pulled his calf. Oof. oof. Last game. Well, they have a week to relax. Weeks. Chill. The, the Titans have a 1.1% oh. chance to make the Super Bowl. He took off this week? Yo, dude. Next week. That's and we, the next that, week. That's all we need. <sighs> Alex is 1.1% 1, 1, 1% chance, man. He's, so you're telling me there's a chance. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's all we need, man. But yeah, Anthony, yeah I, Jimmy Garoppolo can do it. Tanner Hill can do it. All right. All right um, Someone said Tom McVay. I was like, okay, question. Or Sean McVay. Mm-hmm. I was like, what? Does oh. Jason Garrett this time tomorrow is Jason Garrett the coach of the Cowboys? Yes or no? This time tomorrow? No. Tomorrow's Black Monday, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, he's gone. Tomorrow's Black Monday. Then again, <laughs> Jerry Jones would yeah, go on in rhythm. He's a nice guy. Maybe he'll wait till after the Super Bowl. Why? It doesn't make sense. It, nothing there's, there's he not does ru- make sense. There's not even rumors of him talking to a coach. Right? right, right. They said, well, he did say we'll assess it after the season. So Jerry Jones did. <clears throat> you know what? Yeah, let's say he's fired tomorrow. No, I think he's fired. I think he's fired. He, he, has to, he should be. If he's not I think fired we're going to wake up to him being fired. I think he'll want to avoid all the morning bull crap talk, yeah. and he'll just do, announce it like midday. You think so? So he won't allow like people in the morning to react. On Monday morning, they're going to have to wait till Tuesday. Yeah. Because it's on Jerry's time. Jerry. If he's that petty, man, then he, he's never going to win again. And he won't announce his... I, I mean, I'm telling you, man. that if, if the Cowboys hire Ron Rivera, either Ron Rivera is going to kick Jerry Jones' ass or they're going to the NFC Championship <laughs> game. Because <laughs> <laughs> they have such a squad, man. They, yes. Their defense is stacked. Like, the got, offense, got, the got, offense is stacked. They got Zeke. Zeke should be the best running back in the league every year. Yes. And they have... well. They have Gallup as a... Like, Dak, <laughs> Dak Prescott is good enough. Oh, hell yeah. He's good enough. No, he's good. He's and good. a little bit better than good enough. He's, like, above average. Yeah. You got Cooper. Enough to get it done. Yeah. And then you got Zeke, who should be the best running back every year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially because Saquon's in New York. The New York the, Giants suck. The Zeke threat should open up... That, uh, should give Dak, like, 10% more game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he definitely makes his players around him better. Because it, it recently seems like Dak is the one, like, trying to... To get it going, you know what I mean? He's yeah. the one putting it all in. Yeah. And I'm sure Jerry Jones is up there, you know, with some type of control saying Dak needs to throw at least 30 times a game. It's like, no, Zeke needs to run it 30 times a yeah. game. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's never really got comfortable, right, this season? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to say that the uh, Cowboys' new coach will be Freddie Kitchens. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. That what kind of limb is that? That's the, a twig. The That's ultimate, just gonna snap. The ultimate yes. <laughs> I keep man. saying that. The uh, ultimate yes Jerry man. Jerry Jones needs to walk over to the, OU and hand Lincoln Riley a blank check. The ultimate yes man right there. Who? Uh, Freddie Kitchens. Freddie Kitchens. Whatever. He's gonna be like a. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Jerry Jones is gonna have a keyboard plugged into him. He's gonna type in his directions. <laughs> <laughs> Because his son's also the general manager of the team, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Hey, do the do the Rams have a second round draft pick this season? Uh, God, only God knows, bro. Only Tupac and God. And what are they gonna do next season? Um, suck. <laughs> <laughs> Open up that stadium with that trillion dollar screen hey, at they, SoFi. And suck. Hey, they, they hedged their bets on the Super Bowl. If they went on the Super Bowl, things would have moved. The worth would have moved for them. I still don't. It's funny because the big trust just extended the contract for Marcus Peters. Yeah. Who's doing better than Jalen Ramsey? Yes. <laughs> right. Rams. Way more of an impact. Oh, Rams. But it's also he's playing in the best secondary in the NFL, so he doesn't need to do it all on his own. Not that not like he had to do it at the Rams because the Rams. Yo, he was still deal. crushing it with the Rams. Yeah. So, Mike McCarthy, possibility uh, for Dallas and for the Browns. Well, for the Browns, I think more, right? Yeah. Jim Harbaugh. 
And oh, if he wants to leave Michigan, which I think that, I think that's been rumored. I don't know, man. I'm just like, you know what? These NFL, these college coaches now, they like got it made. They're also saying Urban Meyer to the Browns. That's a good rumor. If I, if I was Urban, I'll go. To the, I'll take the Cowboys because he'll win the Super Bowl with that team. He could win the Super Bowl. Yeah. Urban Meyer will win a Super Bowl if he takes over Dallas. Yeah. Urban Meyer with Dallas. Well, he. I, I was really hoping he would come to USC, man, because. USC is just not getting going. <laughs> I think I think Dallas might be the only team that could pull Jim Harbaugh back into the NFL. Dallas Dallas is a Super That's Bowl. That's not a bad fit. Dallas bad fit is, a, is a Super Bowl talent team right now. Yeah. As we stand. Yeah. They they're talented enough to get to the to the title game, the NFC title game, which if you're talented enough to get to that, a couple things oh, will but right. I, I even think player to player they can compete with Niners and Saints. And know? let's just say oh. that, you know, they get the right coach and they they can he could bring on a couple of players that he wants. Who knows? That team could, you know, win it all. And yep. maybe, maybe this year's the year that Bill Belichick retires and let lets uh, what's his name, uh, Daniels, Chase Daniels, Josh Daniels, Josh Daniels, Josh Daniels coach the Patriots starting next year. If Tom Brady retires, he's not gonna go anywhere. I'm telling you, man. I think once Tom Brady, like, if he loses this game, right? Because mm-hmm. it could be literally like he just sucks, right? Because the the Titans have good pass rushers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if he just lays an egg, imagine that. I think that's it for all of them. I think that's it for I want, Chase Daniels. I think it's it for Brady. I want to. And then I'm going to talk shit about Bill Belichick. Yeah, Josh Daniels is. I want the homie. I want the homie Bill Belichick to uh, retire as a coach and then become the general manager of the Titans and go back home. I can to see Nashville. that. I can see that happening. Because he's from Nashville. Oh yeah. 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 Dude, Titans are like uh, Patriots 2.0. He still has a house out there too. And that fine ass girlfriend of his. Mm. And on that note, <laughs> so next week, playoff implications. We should have some more XFL news. Uh, we're going to try to get you a a uh, preview of the Galaxy season. Well, we're going to do a preview of the Galaxy season and maybe a LAFC season with a special guest. And then Rico is going to rap. No, we're gonna get. <laughs> oh, uh, we're gonna get Gabriel's uh, <laughs> mixtape. Can you which make is a super hot fire? Can you make a beat for him next week? And I he'll, can make a beat for him. And he'll bust he our hot sixteen. If the Titans beat the Ravens in the playoffs, you got to you got you got a freestyle. Oh hell no! Yeah, <laughs> that's a making, good bet, dude. Uh, oh, you know, you know, you don't we'll have, you don't have faith in Big Trust. You guys have to win the first game, so we'll start making bets oh, next week. Look, it's oh, all I was saying, he's oh, heard. <laughs> yeah. Yo, go to church, bro. <laughs> oh man, I got no faith <laughs> in the Titans. Wild talk underscore LA. Um, yeah, Wild talk underscore LA. Email us at wildtalk.la at gmail dot com. What are you guys' as, as socials? I forgot. Chris Rico. No, it's a social security number. Oh, okay. Seven. I'm not going to say that shit. Five, six, two. I don't trust nobody. No, what's your, what's your, uh, what's your Twitter? My phone number? What's your Twitter? <laughs> what, what's your, for the ladies? Your no. What's your Twitter? Uh, Chris Rico LA. At Gabe, at Gabe Montoya underscore 13, which uh, I'm not, I'm not proud of that. It's a mouthful. Mm. Beelzebub mm. underscore LA. B e l z e b u b s underscore l a, holla at your boy. And I think next week we'll get cracking on the. We'll do our fact checking. Holla at your boy. Yeah. Yeah, and next week we'll we'll, we'll play a game. Let's play a game next week. Yeah, Ooh. we'll do. Is this a fact or do not? Do you want to play a game? <laughs> <laughs> do you want to play a game, Chris? Can we got a fact check for no more. <laughs> we need uh, we need to hire an assistant. You like f- spitting out fake facts for so long. You have 30 seconds to spit out the correct facts. Otherwise, your head is decapitated. Well, on top of that, too, we're, there's like not many distractions as far as sports. I would have died. Yeah, next week. No. Yeah. yeah. I would have died by saying Tom Brady. Uh, what, Tim Brady? Tim, 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 Tim Brady. Brady. <laughs> He's going to die on this Yo, hill. Timmy Brady. Who's Timothy Brady? Yo, <laughs> imagine, imagine he comes in place for the Chargers. Tim Brady. Oh, that was like a small rumor for a little bit. I mean, a big rumor, but yeah, because he has a house out here. Mm-hmm. Giselle, bro. But what they? I mean, that would put butts in seats for a one-year contract. For a one-year contract. But he went. I mean, what would he's he not much better than Rivers right now. So, bro, I have a. But the butts. I have a solution to mm-hmm. sell those butts and seats. I have a solution. Sweaty butts and seats. Kobe, bro. 
Ooh. Kobe what? One year, Kobe quarterback the Chargers. Bro. <laughs> 39? <laughs> Mamba Magic. No. Yeah, he's younger than Tom Brady. Tim Brady. Yeah, I heard he could Tim throw. Brady. I heard he could throw a quarterback a quarter mile. He could throw a, a, a football, football. A quarter Wait, mile. what would you think that the Chargers can get Garner Minshew for? First, Honestly. First round and the second round? I think that. Maybe a first rounder. That's what I know. What are they going to do with Malvin Gordon and Austin Eckler? I think Melvin Gordon's gone. They didn't extend his contract, right? Use him. To who trade? Well, they have uh, Leonard Fournette. Yeah, but you, but they could turn around and trade him. Like they could use him in a package, like a three-team deal almost. No, I think Gardner Minshew is worth more than Melvin Gordon. I know. That's why it'd be a good deal for the Chargers. I don't think so. I don't think yeah, so. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. No, I think okay. I think I think Gordon is more attractive of a piece. Minshew's not going to win you a Super Bowl. Well. Well, I think we'll all see where it's at. But Eckler is where good. they where they draft. You know who they draft, right? Because again, this is a this is a really good quarterback class. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So we'll see how that draft goes. What's what's their what's their pick this year? It's like it's maybe it's like eighth, maybe. Right? Chargers draft picks. Well, they announced the they announced sixth. The wow. Sixth. Ooh, they can get they can get wow. they can get Tua. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they can. You're they can right, get Tua. Tua and Ooh, uh, Chargers his, would be nice with his broken hip. Damn, you imagine you got Tua, no, Joey Bosa, Melvin Ingram. No worse than seventh. The ch- oh, they were gonna pick sixth. Yeah, sixth because the Jaguars beat the uh, Colts. They're gonna pick sixth. Okay, so what's what do the Jaguars have then? Uh, I don't know. It doesn't sound there. No, it just says that they, I guess because they traded with them before. Uh, Jacksonville. No, it's, uh, the Chargers are not picking six. Yeah, they're picking six. Arizona is. 2020. 2020 draft. It's oh, said, really? Yeah, because they traded, they, there was a trade, and so now that the, they just beat them today. The, the Jaguars beat the. Oh, yeah, Tommy Shea had them a 10th, but yeah, you're right. Uh, the Jaguars pick eighth. Cincinnati, Washington. Well, well Tom, uh, um, McShay, uh, Tom Mc, McShay, Tom McShay has two of going number four. Wait, Oakland has. Oh, we should do this. We should do the mock draft. Let's you do said mo- you do like 20 mock drafts, yeah, right, Rico? I do, a, I do a ton, dude. Let's do a mock draft. Let's do our, our first round mock draft. Okay. Oh man, Chase got Young homework. Is, let's do. Let's, <laughs> well, let's just do the first ten picks. I'll do okay. jo- Joe Burrow, Chase Young. Not right now. Oh. Just, just <laughs> We're ending the podcast. We already <laughs> signed off. Oh my bad. <laughs> we already signed off. No, I mean we. McShay thinks that uh, they're gonna take Justin Herbert from the QB from Oregon. Who? At number one? No. Chargers. The, the Chargers. Their first pick at number. That's six. not a bad pick. That's not a bad pick. Justin Herbert's pretty. He's pretty good. There's also uh, the quarterback for Ohio State's pretty good, right? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. And then the guy from Utah is pretty good. Utah, and then well, there's a few quarterbacks. So Joe Burrow's going to one. Yeah, Chase Young's going to. Is it Chase Young? Or Vince? Chase Young, right? Chase Young. Mm-hmm. Chase Young. Uh, Jerry Judy, Tua Tua Tagovailoa. Well, Detroit Giants. Miami needs a quarterback, but I don't think Miami's gonna pick Tua like right off the rip, though. They should. They have two first round draft picks, right? Yeah. They have uh, Texans, and Pittsburgh, and Pittsburgh. Huh. Oh. Miami. They think Miami's they have, gonna they take have Tua. Three. Miami has three first round tr- picks. Then they think they're gonna take Tua. Yeah. Miami. They could. This mock draft has. LA Chargers taking an offensive line. Oh, outside linebacker slash safety from Clemson. Oh, the guy. Oh, which Isaiah Simmons. 11. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dude, he killed it yesterday too. Dude, I'm so happy that Clemson won. I know we didn't talk about this on the podcast. I'm so happy that they won. I cannot believe that Paul Feinbaum went on the, and a lot of other writers and, and uh, college football analysts went on, national TV and in their columns this year and thought the defending national champions could come back the next year, have an undefeated season and be like, ah, you know what? They, sh- they, they shouldn't even be in the college football playoffs because they haven't played anybody. I'm like, if you're the defending well, you know why? national Cause, champion, cause they, they, they ride the sec dig. That's why. Yeah, I know. But that's, that's my point. It's like, if you're the defending national champions and you go the next year undefeated 
and you don't get into the playoffs? Like, what? that's just stupid. That's like, that's so stupid. I don't care who they play. They play Appalachian State 25 times. I don't care. If you go undefeated, Yo, Appalachian actually, State was even, good this year. Even though. homie, uh, bad, tri- what's his name? Trevor Lawrence? What's the, what's the yeah. quote? Yeah. yeah. He's another one that could be top right. top five. Right. So, but that's my but my point is like, you know, I'm, I'm so happy they won because there was all this talk about how they don't even deserve to be. And it's like, bro, they're the defending national champions. And they're fucking good. Yes. Like they deserve yeah, I, to be. I, and they proved it against Ohio State. Yeah. Like, I don't think necessarily uh, LSU has like they're not going to walk all over them. I think, cause LSU, I think LSU's going to win. Yeah, because LSU just played uh, Oklahoma, which, you know, uh, didn't really deserve to be there. And then they thought uh, Syracuse Ohio State to be versus there more Clemson. Than that. That's a tough ass game, dude. Yeah, if Clemson needs to get off to a better start because they did not start off the game good. Otherwise, they're going to be down. Well, yeah, but again, they're Ohio State's still stacked. Yeah, that's a stacked team. Right. He said that their, the whole defense, back, their, again, whole yeah, yeah. their whole defense. Their whole defense is going to the NFL. Yeah, yeah. Their whole defense. So, no, I, I'm taking Clemson actually against LSU. Yeah, I mean, I hope if I was Joe Burrow, I'd just hit that game out. <laughs> I hope Clemson wins the whole thing. But you're right. Joe, Joe Burrow might be... No, I'm going for Clemson as well. That in the back of his mind. Right. But he didn't have it the other day. He didn't have that in the back of his mind the other day sitting out because he <laughs> he lit him up. <laughs> I th- if I was able to get like, yeah, you get a national championship. All right, cap it off. But at the same time, you're like, dude, I'm already got the first pick overall. I'm chilling. Right. I'm good. Right. Let me just sit here and if they cash get, checks. If they touch me, I'm going down. Cash checks. I'm a Tom Brady collapse in the yeah. pocket tuck rule. Damn. Or come to the Wildcats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For a year. <laughs> I like that. Make about 500K. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and, my friend. And on that note, I think we're we're, we're going to sign off for today. Yes, sir. Sayonara. Hey, but, uh, for the year, for the decade. At Wild Talk underscore LA. Damn, that's Brandon. it. That's it for 2019 Wild Talk. Uh, you know, n- next decade is going to be a different, different. It's going to be different. Different Wildcat. Can you imagine? It's, it's been 10 different years. XFL or, starting. Soon. It's been 10 years already we've been uh, doing this podcast. Fitties are over. <laughs> <laughs> it's been 10 years we're doing this podcast. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, this would be a full-time job. It's the done. 10s. Like, we talk about the roaring 20s and stuff, like mm-hmm. black and white video and everything. People are going to be talking about this. Like, oh, what were the 10s Yo, like? Yo, it's funny. Actually, last thing before we go. In Uncut Gems, it was based back in 2010. Uh, 2012. 2012. And they made it seem like it was like 1983. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, like even their style, the guy's apartment. It was just bad. I was like, dude, it's literally like... Like now. Yeah. <laughs> 1983 is the number. No, it, it was it was pretty accurate for that time. Yeah, it was pretty accurate. But I'm saying everything was there. Like iPhones, you know, 2012. That's a good year. The Ra- iPhones Ravens the, won the Super Bowl. The there. iPhones have the first interface, the the OG interface. Oh, yeah, 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 with yeah. The, I was like, why does it look so clunky? That was three <laughs> years. Three years. Only three years. The smartphone came out. Three years before that. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Wait, what was out by then? The iPhone four, right? The iPhone, no, the, the iPhone three G. Yeah. Yeah, three G, dude. Okay. It looked like he had a fucking a new one. <laughs> Where do they find those old iPhones? All right, we're going on. We're going on tangent. Okay. <laughs> eBay. All right, guys. Have a good New Year. Stay safe. Everybody, no uh, we'll see you and driving. We'll, we'll, Stay sober. We'll definitely. We'll see you. Twenty twenty is sober. Oh, any any resolutions for you guys? Sports or non sports related? Uh, probably gonna surf more. The internet definitely <laughs> surf. <laughs> That's definitely what I thought. For, nah, those, for pick, those facts, picking up surfing more. Uh, other than that, I think that's it, dude. Just surfing. Yeah, be consistent, persistent, and consistent. Mm. <laughs> persistent and consistent. He keeps looking at me every time he says that. <laughs> Yo, p- consistent. I just, <laughs> I just what, you what, what are your. You yeah. only move once a year. So, Resol- once every 10 years, actually. Resolutions. Uh, My re- resolution would be to. Uh, I don't know, maybe like focus on myself more. Wait, you're not a selfish individual or what? Self love, <laughs> self care, bro. Self care is important, bro. No, not like that kind mental, of mental cheesy. health. Mental just health. like I want to buy stuff. For, like normally, I'm not a person who buys stuff for myself. Mm. Oh, you don't have nice things. 
I have nice things, but I don't, <laughs> he, he bought a house. I make people, I make people buy but he doesn't for buy me. anything for himself. <laughs> no, but just like maybe not be such a procrastinator with buying things, because like I think about it, I overthink it, I review, no, I watch thing. other things. But that's good, man. You can't always just go you, and buy. When them. you good. said that yeah. you make people buy you things, you just made me think of a of an old exhibit lyric from X. Mm -hmm. I know who that is. Yeah. What about you? What, <laughs> what, about, about, you? what about you, Alex? Mm. What's, what's, what's good? You got a lot of things coming up. Uh, I just want to lose weight. You got a bright future. I okay. I want to lose weight, feel great. Yeah. I want to actually go to the gym when I say mm. I'm going to go and not. They don't have a gym here? No. Damn, imagine but, if they had a gym here. We'd be hitting that. that up before the podcast. But I do go you to the gym. You pump and shit. Hell yeah. Okay. The thing is that I, I, I'm like, oh, I'm going to the gym at 6 in the morning and then I don't go. And then it's I, not that hard, dude. Then I procrastinate. People like, like overthink that too much. Then I procrastinate and I go at 9 oh. p.m. and I feel great. I was like, oh, man, I would have got more shit done today if I got at 6 in the morning instead yeah, of just up, going at 9. Yep, 100%. Yeah, it's you. really not that hard to wake up First at 5:30. First of all, shut the fuck up, Chris. I wasn't talking. To you. I was talking to Gabe. <laughs> <laughs> Look at he's mad about that. <laughs> Gabe asked me the question. <laughs> that's a good. That's a good. So, uh, second of all, you go to the YMCA. It's different there. It's, it's, you downtown. You gotta be there early. Don't put no parking. What do you mean no parking? I pay like a lot of money for parking a month <laughs> in downtown. <laughs> and I'm two blocks away from work. <laughs> oh, man. And the long blocks, not even like the, you know what I mean? Right. The, the north and south blocks. blocks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> north and south blocks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Not even like east to west, two blocks. <laughs> <laughs> but my, my sports my sports resolution is, to, is for Manchester United to win the Premier League. Oh, that's not going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> Next year? No. Next season? We don't even look like within the next five years we're going to be challenging. Gabe, I was talking to Rico. <laughs> 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 the man that knows very little about <laughs> soccer. That's horrible. They just look. They just don't even look on the base. Uh, for, Liverpool looks like they can win the league for the next five years. Hell for, yeah. For Pool boys. For Cristiano Ronaldo to come to the Galaxy. Mm. Oh, that might happen sooner than you think. Yeah. Or, or Aguero. Yeah. Apparently, like, it's up to him if he wants to stay. That's what Pep said. Oh, wow. Yeah, Pep was like, it's up to Aguero if he wants to stay. If he's happy, then he'll stay. If he's not, then he can go. Basically like that. I mean, Pep has never got along with Aguero. Nah, he doesn't. I don't think he respects his game. I think he feels he's the type of manager that everybody's replaceable. Yeah. And that's okay, like, to think that and to, like, in a way where you treat everyone the same. Mm -hmm. But to a certain extent, when you come out and you actually say it, it's like, well, fuck this guy. If he doesn't like the way I play, then maybe I don't want to be. Like, and then you go through a bad period of time where you're not scoring goals. And your manager is not like, oh, we want this guy. We want this guy. He's just like, oh, you know what? We'll play whoever's on fire at the time. And Man. it's just like, whatever, bro. I'm going to leave. I thought that was Manuel, Manuel and Miranda. <laughs> oh. I was like, damn, the guy from Hamilton looks beat. Uh, but Aguero was voted like the forward of the decade or where he's yeah. before yeah. the Premier League. So hopefully he comes to LA. If you don't respect a guy like that as a coach coming to in. To the LA Galaxy. That'd be dope. All right, guys. Okay. <laughs> See you next year. <laughs> See you next year. 2020!